Shan is a fast fashion giant that is notorious for stealing designs and selling them for a quarter of the price and quality. This company has managed to thwart intellectual property theft accusations while continuously gaining popularity and even accusing another rival company of infringement. Shan is being sued by three independent designers for racketeering. Krista Perry, Larissa Martinez, and Jay Barron claim that the copyright infringement is so blatant that it constitutes racketeering. The suit states that Shan copied Perry's copyrighted Make It Fun artwork and continued to do so even after she contacted them. Shan contacted Perry the following year for a collaboration, which Perry immediately denied, stating that the company could have purchased her artwork but chose not to. Shan also copied Perry's copyrighted floral bloom design. Barron's copyrighted Trying My Best artwork was also copied by Shan. And Shan copied Blintz's copyrighted Orange Daisies clothing pattern. Shan has been accused of stealing designs multiple times. YouTuber Cassie from Blogilati spoke out about Shan copying and selling her designs for less money. In her post, she revealed that the last time they allegedly stole her designs, her fans took to social media to defend her. Shan's U.S. president, George Chow, spoke with her on the phone and claimed that, like Amazon, the sellers are responsible for the items they sell, not Shan. Chow explained to Cassie that these designs were out of his hands and Shan could not be blamed for it. Shan is circumventing copyright infringement accusations by redirecting the blame onto individual sellers to avoid responsibility. The fast fashion competition is heating up. Shan ironically used IP as a defense against its hugely popular rival, Timu. Like Shan, Timu is a Chinese e-commerce marketplace. Launched in the fall of 2022, Timu sells everything from clothes to household items and quickly became the number one downloaded app in the US. These two companies are in an ongoing legal battle that started when Shan accused Timu of trademark and copyright infringement for impersonating Shan on social media. Roadget Business, owner of Shan's US trademarks, alleges in its complaint that Timu deliberately created fake Twitter accounts impersonating Shan that used Shan trademarks. Roadget claims that Timu deceived consumers into downloading the Timu application by embedding innocuous links disguised as genuine Shan links. This just goes to show why small artists need to do everything they can to copyright and protect their artwork, especially when you have these large marketplaces that are blatantly copying and stealing from artists.